Hi, welcome back to John's Random Reviews. Today we're doing tool talk. Well, more what we're really doing is talking about looking after your tools, looking after your Makita power tools. Now then, as you know, or don't know, all my Makita tools live in this big box here. Come on, let's get involved. So they all live in there. So they all, I know what you're saying. They all look a bit jumbled up. And a joiner would be horrified because a joiner's like all the stacking of the boxes and keeping everything nice. But all my tools are in that box because I like to mold them all together and I haven't got a lot of space in my van. So what we're going to talk about is keeping your tools clean. But before that, we've got another thing, quick thing to talk about. I've done a little another video about this light. Oh, hang on. I'm actually um, glaring the, the cameraman. So, what have I done to this light to make it less glary? Well, what I've done is I've got this frosting stuff that you can put on bathroom um, windows, put on glass windows, and it's a bit of a diffuser. So it sort of just sticks on there. As you can see, it just come in a little bit. You can see it's, it just sort of peels on. It just sort of sticks to the actual, um, it's plastic that, but it, it, anyway. So what that means is, if you didn't have this on and you were looking into it, you get, oh my God, you get right in your eyes. So this diffuses the light to make it more, it still does the same job, but it's great for diffusing it and you don't have to have the other glare in your eyes. So that's a little thing I've done to this Makita torch. Anyway, let's get on to the main event, tools. And more specifically, Makita tools. Now these tools here, and everything in the box, is very, very expensive. It gets used every day, and this is how I make my living. Now, not all the time, I don't use these all the time. I mainly use, this is, now let's get, let's, let's get talking about it. I'm a 50 year old plumber. Now my hands, working with spanners, are knackered. What I mean is, I can't really grab the big spanners anymore. And I've got what they, what they call sometimes tennis elbow which is tendonitis, that's from using hand, hand, well, you know, tools, hand tools. So anyway, enough about my wrecked body. What we're mainly talking about is looking after your tools. Now then, I'm lucky because my boss buys a lot of my tools. So if I say to him, oh, I need a new grinder, I can go and book it out. I can go and get one. And this, this grinder, just the body is about 120 quid. Um, if it goes knackered, I can get another one. But some of the tools in this box are mine. Paid for my, my old pocket, which is okay. But so there's two things here. If it's my own tools, I've spent a lot of money on these tools. So I look after them because they help my job and I don't want them to go knackered. And if my boss has bought them, it's a bit disrespectful not looking after tools. So what do I mean about looking after tools? Well, now I've, I've just chucked that, that, that in there, but may, most of the time I just place them in there. But come on, let's get involved. What I try and do every month or so is give them a good clean. Now, two reasons for that, for that is, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Say hello, say hello. Right, hang on, we've got to this year's, um, what's this called? Lobby. Lobby. So it's not allowed that while we're filming. So, okay, right. Right, you come in here. Come play with that. Well, I'm, I'm filming. Okay, away. Boom. Oh, you can't sit up there. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. So, you'll get some guys who... My, my cameraman, that's all right. You'll get some people who will think, well, I'm not going to bother cleaning the tools that much because I use them every day and they're just going to get shit up again. But I always say, like clothe clotheth maketh the man, if you've got some kind of keeping your tools in good order, when you're working at a customer's house or working on a, on a site, the, the customer or the foreman or the boss of the whoever you're working for will get to know something about you. If, I think if you keep your tools nice and in good order, that, that shows you're a good tradesman. And then you're going to get respect. So if you're a young person, try and keep your tools in good order. What do I, 
have in my big box to keep my tool tidy and clean. Baby wipes, which are absolutely brilliant for once a month getting all the grime. These tools get all grimed up and they get all the dust and everything and all the nooks and crannies. So, you'll see in a minute how much muck is accumulated in the tools. So, if you just come in a little bit, and I'm hoping you can see it's looks an improvement already. Ew. Ew. Right, when I've given the tools a bit of a, a clean with the old baby wipes, especially on the grinder, they get a lot of crud and, and actual dust stuck in where the where the actual main bit of it is, where the blade sits. So I give it a little bit of a a bit of a scrub out with an old toothbrush. And that gets all the crap out there. So you can see it flying out. So that's a good way to get all the natural crud out of the nooks, the nooks and the crannies. So after that, with a bit of a baby wipe, what I also sometimes do is put one of these on, which is like a dashboard cleaner for, hang on, Pepper's taking the, 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 the Pepper, where are you going with me, with me bloody toothbrush? Anyway, there we go. Anyway, so after I've um, cleaned them with the baby wipes, I like to put on a bit of this dashboard cleaner for cars. And then what that does, it, I think it gives it a little bit of a protective coat on it and stops it getting really, really um, dusty straight away. And it gives it a little bit of a sheen. So you'll never get the tools back to being looking like new. Everyone loves having new, new tools. When the Makita's, uh, when you get a brand new Makita, this turquoise, just hang on a minute. What are you doing? Anyway. Stop it. Naughty. Anyway. Right. So, when you're giving these tools a bit of a clean, they don't look new, but they look relatively new. And there's nothing like having a new, a new tool, tool in your toolbox. So, if you've got all your tools clean, you're super stoked because they look like you've got a load of new tools and it shows you're looking after them. And it's a bit geeky and it's a bit nerdy. And, but I don't care because I, these are my tools. This is my livelihood here. So I like it when I get my tool out of the box and it's nice and clean rather than covered in mud and dust. And it's ready to do a day's work. So, the moral of the story is, if you want to show that you're a professional tradesman and you've got professional tools and you keep your tools in professional order, keep them clean and get in good order. And then people will give you respect. People in the trade will give you respect. Makita stuff is really good, high quality professional stuff. And it's really, really, it is hard wearing, but it doesn't mean you need to, I abuse them a little bit because they, they've got to they've got to work for the living like me like I've got abused with all my knackered body so that's it I hope you've learned something maybe not but there we go what do we say okay thank you for watching random is rad rock on